Hi guys, uh, hope you're doing well today. Um, bit of an unexpected uh, video for me to be making today. I wasn't planning on making one tonight, but um, I've had an unbelievable day. Um, most of the purchases that I make um, are on Amazon, Music Magpie, different websites. Um, I don't often get out and about to look in the charity shops like I used to. Every now and again I do, but not as often as I'd like to. Out in the wild, as they say. Um, but earlier on today, um, I'd seen a lady who lives quite near to me. She put some CDs on Facebook, uh, on the marketplace, I believe it's called. Um, she mentioned rock and punk and a few things. So I messaged her. Um, she sent me a list of what was what. Um, and I had a good look through it and I thought, wow, I'll, 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 I'll give it a go. So I'm going to show you a stack of CDs here that I picked up. Unbelievable, I'm buzzing. Honest to God, I'm as happy as a dog with two dicks. Um, £33.50 for 36 CDs. Um, and the first 10 I'm going to show, um, as my thumbnail showed, is all 10 of the Iron Maiden, the first 10 years uh, CDs. They're not in the box, in the special um, case that you could order for it. But these are all original from the 90s. There's hardly a mark on any of the discs, uh, and I'm just absolutely buzzing. And I've picked up some other stuff. There's all sorts of stuff on here. Um, this lady, her brother, um, he's moved down, lives in London. I think it was her brother, she said. Um, and he's had to downsize, and he had a decent collection, and he'd, he'd ripped it all onto a computer, said he, he didn't need the physical copy anymore, wanted them to go to a good home. So these Iron, these Iron Maiden ones, the um, the first 10 year CDs, they cost me 75p each. And I couldn't believe it. And I, I you know, I spoke to the woman, I said, what, why why are, you, are they going, why are you getting them? She said, well, he, he'd told me originally, so what she said to me, he'd told me originally just to bin them, get rid of them. I, I've got, I've no need for them. And she said, I'd like to see him go to a good home. So I thought, right. I'll make sure I give them a good home, don't you worry about that. So, um, Running Free and Sanctuary. Oh, well that's not a good start, is it? The CD falling out. Luckily it's a fairly soft landing. Um, I've had to clean some of these cases up. Some of these, I'll have to replace some of these, um, have a good route through them. But um, yeah, that's the first one, number one. Number two, Women in Uniform and Twilight Zone. I absolutely love, love the artwork of I Maiden. I can't remember um, the guy's name, I'm sure. Is he called Derek? Is it, is it Derek Riggs? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sure um, some of you guys can tell me. But um, yeah, I believe these have all got the original artwork from the original singles that came out. Uh, but these are all from 1990. Number three, Purgatory, uh, and Made in Japan. I'm not gonna, oh, I've got 36 CDs to show you, so I'm not gonna take too long on each one. But um, like I say, some of the cases are gonna need replacing, but um, the CDs themselves are in great condition. Okay, number four, we've got Run to the Hills. And the number of the beast. All of these these ten CDs, um, from what little sort of research I did do on it, they all contain two singles. So, um, and yeah, like it said, the first ten years, it's all from the first ten years of um, Iron Maiden's recording uh, career. Next up, number five, Flight of Icarus, and the Trooper. Like I say, guys, I'm absolutely stoked. It's uh, it's very rare. I mean, what a good start to the year that is. It's very rare that um, you know when you look on eBay and Amazon, things t do tend to go for the for the right money. You know, occasionally you'll get an absolute bargain. Um, but yeah, what what can I say about this? Two minutes to midnight. One of my favourite Maiden songs. Yeah, what can I say about these? Seventy five p each. It's just mental. 
It's like when I was looking at the list and she was the prices were all there. It was like my heart was going. Um, no, I'd, I'd be shit at poker, honest to God. Running free. Uh, what number is this? It's number seven. Running free. Run to the hills. Um, so I've got a hell of a few items to add to my Iron, Cole uh, Iron Maiden collection there, haven't I, guys? Number eight. Wasted years. Stranger in a strange land. I love that art. That is one of the best Iron Maiden pieces of art for me. Absolutely love that. Wasted years, great tune. Number nine. Can I play with madness and the evil that men do? Now, I've actually got this already because this is um, it's my favourite Maiden song of the modern era Maiden. Uh, when I was getting into metal, like I say, back in the day, late 80s, this came out and um, it, it was one of the first videos that was kind of shown on TV, it was on Top of the Pops. So it, it's got a place in me, I, you know, I've gone back and, and, and listened to the early Maiden and I don't, this doesn't really um, hold a torch to, to the early stuff, but I do love this song. So I, I actually own this on CD, the exact version of this. Um, so to be honest, if there's any of you guys out there on the VC, uh, preferably in the UK, um, who would like this, please let me know and I shall uh, VCLT this to you, no problem at all. Um, and the last one of them is The Clairvoyant and Infinite Dreams. So yeah. How good is that, guys? I'm absolutely buzzing. Still buzzing now. Got a bit, little, little bit of a sweat on. Now, I saw this as well again. This was 75p, and I thought, oh my god, um, a bit of a, a mini grail, a half grail. But um, Iron Maiden, bring your daughter to the slaughter. I was thinking, oh, I'm, I'm made up to get that. That's brilliant. It's the original th uh, Slimline Jewel Case release. But when I opened it, I don't know if you can see there, guys. Look at the CD. It's actually broken in half. So uh, unless someone out there knows of a perfect way to glue a CD back together again and it plays perfectly, a uh, bit gutted that, but there you go. There you go. It's fell down inside now, look. But anyway, you know, considering what I've got here, I can't complain at all, can I? Okay, other than those, um, the first 10 year CDs, there was um, Out of the Silent Planet. I'm not familiar with this. With this, I'm not sure if it's off Brave New World. I can't, I have got Brave New World. I can't remember, don't, just don't recall this song. But it's got a little poster in there as well. It's a little bit squashed, but um, like I say, cheap as chips. The Wicker Man. Also, um, like a, a see-through CD. It's quite a little cool thing. Not a proper jewel case on this, it's just uh, like a single piece of card that goes in. But again, you know, like I say, it's uh, making sure that this Iron Maiden collection goes to a good home, you know, and the, the guy who had it obviously has looked after it. So also, Number of the Beast, um, these were later release. Not sure exactly. I didn't look into these that much, but um, they've obviously released singles again at some point later on. But these have these have got live versions on. Um, also, the Trooper. That's got a couple of versions of the Trooper live. No one version. The Prowler. Some enhanced. Remember when these CDs came out? A lot of them, a lot of the albums were coming out, and they had this ED enhanced CD, I should say, not ED, ECD enhanced CD, where you got little promo videos and things when you plugged it into your computer. Um, they've kind of gone out the window a little bit now, those, but um, yeah, the Trooper. And finally, for my Iron Maiden collection, Wildest Dream. I think this is off um, Dance, Dance of Death, yeah. It's got Blood Brothers orchestral mix on it, so I'm sure that's worth having a listen to, but um, yeah, what can I say about that, guys? Is that not just an unbelievable haul? It, 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 like I say, it just doesn't happen to me. Um, 
So I'm absolutely made up. What a great start to the year. Um, so I'll show you all the other ones that I picked up as well. Um, there's a few to go through, so I won't spend too much time um, over them all, but I'll just show you, showing me anyway, because I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, yeah. So this one, FM UK. Um, it's, it's an original pressing on the portrait label from 88. Um, I've already got this on the CD. It doesn't say FM UK on mine, it just says FM, but it's not a proper case. It's kind of looks like it was a promo. So it's been in like a cardboard sleeve and it's been cut in half. Um, but I do know a young man on the VC, a friend of mine who might want this. Um, so I shall message you and um, if you want it, mate, um, it's all yours, simple as that. Okay, next up, Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Um, thinking it was just an original pressing, like I said, it was a pound. Um, it's the double disc version. Don't know when this was released, but um, yeah, comes in a slip out with the original, uh, without any CDs falling out, the original artwork there, which got banned back in the day. Great little picture on the inside of them there. Yeah, some kind of deluxe, uh, deluxe version. I know Cloudy, Andy over at Cloudy Milder showed sure it was him who showed a, a vinyl version of this that he picked up and somebody else as well bald metal nerd I think he picked up on cassette but um, yeah made up to, I've got the, the original pressing but can't go wrong with that can you similar to the Iron Maiden theme Bruce Dickinson Tattoo Millionaire I remember this coming out back in the day um, didn't really pay much attention I remember the song um, All the Young Dudes the the um, yeah, it's a classic rock tune, isn't it? But, um, like I say, all of these, 36 CDs for £33.50. Some of the double ones, she was asking £1.50, and then she was just rounding them down, and, you know, I, I don't know, but I don't know what it works out per CD, that, but um, less than a pound, isn't it? Next up, Garage Incorporated Metallica. Not the original Garage days, um, but... I've got this one on CD already. Again, it was less than a pound, I had to pick it up. Um, please, any of you guys, girls out there watching, um, and again, preferably in the UK, just to save me a little bit on the postage, I suppose. Um, if any of you want this, please let me know, and I'll send it to you as a VCLT. It's worth a listen. I like it. It's not as good as the original Garage Days, but, um, you know, I mean, it's got... It's got the original song from Garage Days on there, but all sorts of other ones, you know, it's um, Die, uh, what's it called? Can't think. Can't, well, Whiskey in the Jar, Thin Lizzy course, yeah. Okay, next up, Metallica, Hardwired Self Destruct. Now, again, I've got this on CD, so I just thought I'd pick it up, you know, if I can't give it a good home, I know other people who will. Um, and upon opening it, um, it happens to be the three CD version, two CDs and a bonus CD. Um, obviously it doesn't say anything about that on the back. Um, but when I got, as soon as I got it from this lady, it felt thicker than the one I've got and I was thinking, oh my god, so it's obviously the deluxe version. So um, yeah. That's going in my collection because that's uh, better than the one that I've got already. Next up, Marillion Fugazi Fugazi. I've got a, I've got misplaced childhood by uh, Marillion already, um, and one of the later albums uh, with the new singer. Um, oh, I can't think what that's called. Where are they looking? Just give me a second, guys. Oh, Seasons End. Yeah, Seasons End. Um, and this is the double disc version so I made up to have that also uh, clutching at straws Marillion again double disc edition 
and finally Marillion script for a jester's tear again the two CD version um, so happy to get that um, I've been slowly um, improving my rush um, discography my rush collection and this is one that was missing from it I know Darcy over at six strings nine lives picked this up recently on vinyl I think I think as part of his Christmas present um, tokens his, his record tokens money whatever he got given um, rush signals made up to pick up that it was one of those that I ever thought if I see it a bit cheaper I'll, I'll, I'll pick that up but um, yeah less than a pound next up Led Zeppelin he's a, a remaster in through the outdoor um, Led Zeppelin Coda another remaster and Led Zeppelin Presence uh, I used to listen to loads of Led Zeppelin back in the day loads and loads not so much now um, but those are three albums that I didn't have in my collection so I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to have them next up not so much metal or rock a bit softer I suppose that pop rock I don't know what you'd call it but um, I've got a few of their albums um, and when I send these like I say less than a pound each I had to pick them up Queen Hot Space Queen News of the World uh, I do need to clean some of these cases up they are a bit filthy but um, that's another job for me another day Queen The Game Queen Jazz and finally Queen Sheer Heart Attack this one I was more pleased about getting this one um, than the other ones really be just because uh, just because of the songs on it Stone Cold Crazy, Killer Queen, Brighton Rock um, okay we're down to the last four um, Dio Last in Lime made up to have that um, I think I have got that already and if I have got that one already and it's the same pressing as this one then let me have a little look sorry guys last in line Dio yep yeah, it's the same pressing as the one I've got already so again if anybody um, would like this um, I'm quite happy to send it them as a VCLT um, just great condition all of them um, next up Dio Holy Diver now this is one a newer version of remaster I've got the original pressing but this is a remaster version so I made up to, I do like to get some of the remasters of the classics I don't go out of my way to spend a lot of money on them but if I see them cheaper cheaper as chips I'll have them and finally Sacred Heart Dio um, and last one sorry another one to go not finally last one I've got their debut album um, and I was made up to get this Billy Sheehan one of my favourite bass players uh, I know he played back on David LaRosse album Skyscraper which is one of my favourite albums of all time but uh, Mr Big lean into it so that's it guys um, what a haul what a day it's been amazing um, I'm sure all you, all you collectors out there especially Rob over at Black Star Vinyl he seems to have been having some amazing days recently picking up some stuff um, so he must feel like I feel today every day uh, because he's always picking up some great stuff um, good lad Rob you're a good lad um, always enjoy watching your videos um, and you pick up some awesome stuff mate you really do um, I'm not going to waffle on anymore because like I say it was a, an unexpected video really this but um, thanks for watching we've been listening to um, a bit of death and roll with Entombed from Sweden Inferno thanks for watching um, hopefully I'll sleep tonight when my heart stops, uh, stops beating as fast as it has um, yeah mega day um, and I'm going to put all these away we'll find somewhere to put them um, thanks for watching, take care guys, all the best, speak to you again in another couple of days. Take care, bye bye.